Big Mama. What do you say to them? Not nice, boys. What, what are you doing, picking your nose? <laughs> <laughs> this is becoming the Discovery Channel. Why? Not in there. <laughs> there is a lot of canola. That's really big. That's huge. So our long day just got a little longer. How are you doing, Big Mama? Big Mama number two? You are a Big Mama. Hello, Billy's mom. Wow. I wasn't sure what to expect this morning because yesterday morning that ewe lamb once again had her head caught. And uh, today she doesn't, so maybe she's learned her lesson? I don't really know. Why though? Huh? Why? This didn't work out the other day either. Alright, you ready? No, reverse. Reverse. Reverse, there you go. Oh! See you tomorrow, same time, same place. Yeah, there was a few things. There was that, there was a couple ewes that were, like, had a standoff. And the boys, I've been fixing these headrails like for two weeks. They just, they get scratching, even though they've been treated for lice. They, they just scratch. I don't know if they're just bored. So they keep wrecking my, uh, my manger. Excuse me. Just fix this one. And this one. Not nice, boys. Yesterday was just, just kept catching little random moments. I should feed some babies. Are you guys hungry? Um, can I fix this, you guys? Would that be okay? There. Good as new. You're welcome. Everybody's worried about you, Big Mama. What do you say to them? Oh, that's nice. You love everybody. Don't you? Good girl. All right, we are going to attempt to clean out this barn. It's been a long time coming, so Jess and I are just gonna take stuff apart. Take down these fans. Uh, the feeders I move once I get in there with enough manure moved, but I got most of the gates moved the center alley but I'll move these two get this opened up because there's way too many lambs now they're growing so fast that they need to be split in half and put over here so we're getting into some heat next week so we have to make sure they're nice and cool and comfy it's actually really nice in here today it's really good crazy you really need a lot of there yeah I probably don't even need it how heavy is it
can't see me in the back. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Picking your nose? Scratching <laughs> it, okay? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Theater. So I'm gonna just change this out and put on the uh, the pallet floor. And if you remember from my last video, uh, there's actual pallet floor holders under on this sight glass side. So I gotta just kind of manipulate this guy to get it out of this deeper manure. Um, this manure, just fun fact, if you didn't watch my last video in this barn, since we put up this airbag. Uh, the ventilation has been so good. I kept the pack to keep this barn warm in the winter. Um, but honestly, you can almost tell from the layers that when we changed into the fall into this, what would typically be the wettest, because summer, summer air is usually keeps the litter pretty dry uh, because we had the circ fans. But when we switched, you can almost tell by the layers when we switched in the fall to this system and what would typically be very quite moist is really dry almost like compost so those airbags uh, do do an amazing job in the winter I'm, I'm actually quite surprised because they're not really meant to get rid of moisture but but just to add in real fresh air but I think this winter our winter was quite dry so I think the air was was a crisp dry cold and it just kept the litter awesome so I'm able to keep that pack deeper and the top really clean and fresh all the time because uh, those layers aren't seeping up from underneath. So just, uh, I'm just always amazed at ventilation. Uh, we are about a quarter or a third done already. So that's pretty sweet. go feed across the road so I am going to just put a pin in this job go feed my sheep go feed my tummy 
and then come back and work away at this this afternoon, get that feeder moved, get it all scraped out, uh, shoveled out, bedded, and actually move these lambs into this pen. It's supposed to get really hot and they need more room. Like me and left. Oh, oh, okay. Come on. That's it. Fly! Not in there. Boop. All cleaned up and set up. I still have to fill the feeders, but they're moved and set up. And all the gates are put away. So I'm going to give these lovely ladies and gents a new pen. Good job to have done before this heat. Yeah, you guys are happy. That makes me happy. That I've been stewing about this all week because I knew this heat was coming and I knew this needed done. And it rained, so I knew I couldn't dump the uh, dump trailer into the wheat field because it would be too wet. So today it was dry enough and we got it done. Good morning, it's Saturday and this is this is about what we do in the summer on Saturday mornings is have breakfast and crop scout. 
My guess is this weed's gonna be six inches shorter. Because of that growth regulator? The P, PGR, plant growth regulator. And that's so it doesn't fall over. No, we go it's to a quite a tall variety. But it's headed, so now we have to stage it for some fungicide, right? Yeah. <sighs> we basically have, I would say we have three days. You literally, like, you plant the stuff and then you're always doing stuff. How many times have you been in these fields since you've planted them? Four. Four times already. Oh, yeah. Hard working, dude. Hmm. Sit in the cab. <laughs> A lot of cab time. How many weeks do you think? I don't know. It depends on the heat, but I'm thinking 1st of July. Wixy. It's it's as tall as last year. We didn't even think it was going to be. No. Wow. Really? They were just later flowering. So they look okay? Well, here's... Like, this is what I said. Like, that's what the frost did. The wind. So, like, there's only one. Oh, I but see. we lost these ones from the frost. Right. And then this all grew after? Yeah. And there's still some. But we might have not had those last year, too. It's hard to say. Right. So. Smells like canola. Smells like brassica. Smells like cabbage. There's a lot of canola here. There is a lot of canola. A lot more than last year. He's vlogging again. That's really big. What? That's really big. That's huge. I would not want to be the one running it. No. That's for sure. But you could. I could, I just don't want to. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, you guys, it's been a very long, very hot, hot day. Uh, this is the hottest day we've had yet this summer. I usually don't complain about the heat, uh, but I don't think I drank enough. And I think I got a little bit of sunstroke, but I'm doing all right now. I just had some supper and I have a bag of um, nutritious hot dogs for my beloved. Uh, he is just sit finishing up. We're just finishing up the last part of this field. Uh, we ran that bigger horse planter all day this or all afternoon. So we're just hopping back onto our cedar and doing um, or our planter and doing just these little fields that we hadn't finished yet. So I'm just gonna hop back in with him and see how he liked it. But I think he liked it. <laughs> Change of plans. We ran out of seed and then Mark just checked and he ran out of fertilizer. So he's back in the yard, just pulled in and we have to fill for like, I don't even know. I don't even know if we have 10 acres to fill for. <laughs> so our long day just got a little longer. Yeah, you're the only one that didn't get a turn. What did you think, Mark? What did you think of the planner? It was quite nice. Yeah. A little big. A little That's big. all I have to say about it. A little big. It was a monster. <laughs> yeah. But it's Starting nice. to plant around the edge of the field. Yeah. Well, I usually used to it, too. Our fields aren't really made for that big of equipment. It's almost like we all vlog or something. I think so. I think it's time for bed. <laughs> 